Do you think it's possible to stealth camp overnight in one of the strictest places in the UK that has zero tolerance to van life? The average Airbnb in St Ives costs a whopping £140 a night. But I'm going to attempt to spend the night here for less than £10 and try my hardest to avoid getting a parking ticket. But with so many restrictions in place, this won't be easy. I mean, I've got a few issues with this. The first is that I've got to find a car park that will allow me to park there for 24 hours. And the second is finding a space. And we all know how difficult it is to find a space in St Ives. This looks like the place. Oh, I think there's a space as well. So look at this. I set myself aside, the way on this trial. If you don't know the way, we can stop and make a change. I know we walk for days, losing hope, fading love. Now if I can stay here tonight, now this this will be a great find. It's gonna be a rainy night. I'm moving the van because apparently we just went on just park and it said you can only stay here for a maximum of three hours, so it won't actually let me put in any longer period. And I don't really want to get a ticket, but I might not have a choice at this rate. See now this one you can park in for 24 hours, but it's on a hill, which, uh, which makes it a bit of a nightmare if you want to stay in here. Right, all cars parked in this car park must display a valid permit, so no, this one's permit holders only, this one's flat. But see, they know that. This is the thing. This is it's one of the things I do not like about the UK. I've spent loads, loads of time traveling Australia and New Zealand, and like they have so many sort of free spots where you can camp or just really cheap camping areas. And uh, but in this country, they just just don't they just don't like it. Wherever you're going, I'm going. I'll follow you through the black and the blue Whatever the mountain will come to the next Honey, I'm with oh, you oh, through oh. life and to death You get a ticket when you come in through here and you can pay when you leave. You can stay here for 24 hours. What I've chose is pretty flat, but there are signs pretty much everywhere saying no overnight camping. So I'm probably not gonna really hang around the van. I'm gonna go for a little wander around St. Ives, probably get some food in St. Ives, come back after dark, sneak into the van, get into bed, and then move on in the morning. I did see a sign that said motorhomes and campers prohibited and that fines could be issued. But that's why this van is still registered as a van. If it means that it's not technically classed as a, as a motorhome or camper van, then uh, might just get away with this. <laughs> Those could be my famous last words. Oh, bright. All right, I, I've pulled the blackout curtains across early just to, uh, when I come back from my little wander and it's night time, I can literally just get in and there's gonna be no light coming through. I'm gonna make the bed now, just because then it's all done and I'm ready to go. So I've literally got quite a few layers tonight just to keep you warm. I'm not pulling the bed out the full way, just, I always do this when, when I don't wanna get too comfortable and I feel like I might need to nip off in the middle of the night. We've got sleeping bag and then a duvet and then a crochet blanket. I've been getting a lot of questions about my crochet blanket, like where I got it and everything. My mum actually made it for me. Um, yes, that does make me a bit of a mummy's boy. All right, let's get going. I need to find somewhere to eat tonight. Look at this beast.
I really need to find somewhere to eat. I'm thinking maybe the sloop. Okay, they're packed in there. We're going to try somewhere else. I can't sing. So I'm thinking maybe Hubbox might be able to get in there. I mean, we are technically out of season now, so I should be able to get in there alright, but it's still pretty busy down here. Um, yes, we've got upstairs if you want to use the QR code. So it's order on the app and yeah. then drinks and food will come up to you. Yeah. I don't have anything in the main restaurant yet because I've got some reservations coming in. That yeah. I so say before. If I go upstairs, just order on the QR yeah, code. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. we'll keep an eye on you as well. Oh, right. Brilliant. Yeah. Thanks, right. mate. No worries. Thank you. Oh, it's on the box. Oh, I'm facing the wrong there way. There you go. Okay, thanks. Cool. Then take 29, okay? Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Hello. Brilliant. Thank you very much. It was actually a really nice burger. Now it's getting darker, but it's not quite dark enough to go back to the van yet. What do we reckon? Back to the sloop? I could go for one beer, couldn't I? One beer. Hey, So I'm going to sit here with my beer on this wet bench seat outside the sloop, finish this and then head back to the van. What a night for it. I didn't actually see any cameras in the car park, so there's a chance I might be able to get back to the van without being noticed. Wait until you get into the van before you turn the lights on. So when it's like this and I want to go unnoticed completely, I'm probably going to turn the main lights off. There we go. I'm going to put my shoes near the door so that I'm ready to go. I'm going to get into bed, watch a movie or YouTube or whatever, hopefully get a decent night's sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. All right. Sleeping bag, duvet, mum's crochet blanket. Oh, proper cosy. All right. There we go. Good night. Ah, there we go. <sighs> Good morning. Uh, do you know what? That was probably one of the, the best nights I've slept in this van. I didn't wake up once. It's probably all the wind noise and the rain hitting the van. Something quite therapeutic about that. It was plenty warm enough though. Didn't need my blanket. Ah, sleeping bag kept me nice and warm. I think it's probably just because of, it was overcast. This is my little box I keep in the van which has got all of my toiletries in it. Morning routine. Shower in a can. Thank <laughs> you.
This guy's mad. I've had copied less picturesque spots. So it's gonna be interesting to know whether I got away with that or not. I'm gonna have to wait and see if I get a parking ticket or not. So if you can do anything for me, leave a like on this video, because the more likes might mean that it gets seen by more people, which means that I might make more money, which means it might pay for my parking ticket if I get one. Okay, so I'm just sat here enjoying my coffee and watching a bit of YouTube. And <laughs> check this out. Hopefully you don't have an experience like um, Love Sundays. Sundays. Like if you ever watched Love Sundays, highly recommend and go on YouTube and um, search for Love Sundays and, and like subscribe to Doobie's absolute legend. Uh, so that was Stevie from Two Surfers in a Van. Thanks Stevie, I appreciate it, but I should probably return the favour, so maybe go and check out their channel. It is exactly what it says. Two surfers, one van in Nuki. £6.80 for an overnight. I'd say that's good value for money. I suppose you'll have to come back next week to see if I get a parking ticket or to see if I got away with it. So maybe subscribe and hit the bell just so that you don't miss that one. And I'll see you then. Honey.